Uh, we, we talked a little bit about um, you being sick, and, and of course there's been a lot of publicity about it because you've been extremely open uh, to people. But um, what, what ha has happened to you um, in, in the last several months, uh, something very dramatic and very different, uh, out of the blue, uh, what, what happened? Well, I was here in the office in the first part of January, and uh, I had a seizure, and uh, they immediately sent me to Baptist Hospital, where they diagnosed uh, I had a brain tumor, and then they air flighted me to Shands Hospital in Gainesville, where they removed the tumor. And that wasn't the end of it. Then they diagnosed me with stage four lung cancer, and sent me to Boston to Dana Farber, which is one of the great cancer institutes in the world, where they removed the uh, the tumors from my lungs. Uh, the good news about this uh, is that it apparently, as a result of all of this, it was caught very, very early. And at this point, uh, you know, in the middle of May, uh, some, what, three or four months after the uh, first diagnosis, they claim I'm uh, cancer free. Now, I that doesn't mean it's not going to come back or anything. But uh, anyhow, so I, more good news is I, uh, from the time of the seizure, for a couple of months I had something called ICU delirium. And that's a situation where you really are in a different world. And all during the time I was in Boston and at the hospital, and I thought I was in Pensacola. I thought very I was very confused. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, so I, you, you can imagine what you would have felt like if you'd gone into a mm -hmm. doctor's office and he says and tells you, well, you've got a brain tumor and you also have stage four lung cancer. Oh, you'd have gone. If you if I'd have known it, I'd have gone crazy. Mm. Well, I didn't know it. <laughs> that was a blessing. Wasn't <coughs> so it, it was a blessing. This, this, yeah, mm -hmm. the delirium. I thought I was somewhere else, and uh, it was. Uh, uh, so that that was the good news mm -hmm. about all of that. Well, um, when when you had your uh, seizure, you were sitting right at your desk, uh, having an ordinary day. Yeah. Isn't that right? And did you have any sense of feeling like you had the flu or you had a headache or anything? Not that I remember. Yeah. No. Well, that was a great blessing because yeah. they they got that tumor uh, <coughs> yeah. while it was so small that it didn't <laughs> do any brain injury to remove it and. Um, I have pictures of you and I where you, you're, this, this happens like on Thursday and then on Monday um, we're taking pictures and you look uh, just great and, and very alert. <laughs> Is this <laughs> um, after the brain tumor? Right, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, and then, then, of course, you, you learned after you had your brain tumor that you had uh, a likely metastasis to the lung. Mm -hmm. And you, you had a, an unusual um, gathering as you were about to leave for Boston. What, what did you do? Well, they were having a uh, party at my house, being thankful for the, uh, the brain tumor having been removed. And, uh, but again, I was in that state of delirium. I have no idea about the, uh, the party. And, but one thing that did happen, was that I've had so many people come up and said, you know, they were praying for me, and that may have worked because mm -hmm. uh, since that time I'm supposedly cancer free and I'm back to work. And uh, yeah, no, that is, it is phenomenal. But I, I remember after, after you had your brain surgery and you were going to uh, Boston, there was going to be a small gathering. Mark Proctor was going to pick up a few chickens to um, <laughs> barbecue. Uh, barbecue for us and, and we'd all just kind of have a quiet gathering and the next thing we know it's uh, 200 people and Mark Proctor <laughs> brought every chicken <laughs> in the entire county so that uh, we could be covered and we still ran out. Um, but it, uh, You may not remember it, but it was a, a very beautiful evening with a lot of people there showing the support, uh, mm -hmm. offering the prayers, um, having the wonderful music, uh, the singing by the your 
your friend from Spain, uh, the artist who yeah. came. Uh, so it was a very special time for, if even for you not to remember, um, you were active and alert and socializing and talking and everything was appropriate. Uh, but everybody was stunned that, oh my goodness, he's just had this diagnosis and then he's uh, <laughs> having this huge party. And uh, but but it was a good send off to go to uh, Boston and and to meet with your doctors. Do you have a recollection of when you you sat with them and talked? with them about uh, doing the, the surgery that they intended to do on the lungs? I'm not sure what I remember and what was told to me. That's, I see. Mm -hmm. I do not remember the party. I was in that state of delirium mm -hmm. that, uh, I mean, uh, I've seen a video of it where I made a speech and right. all of this. and. Uh, uh, Apparently, like I say, the delirium uh, is uh, its great in certain situations, and that's one right, of them. Well, I'm grateful that you had it, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, why why have the consciousness of something that's so frightening yeah. and so overwhelming? But but here we are uh, months after the fact, and, and you've had a... a a, a bit of a complicated course, not so much with your surgeries, but having uh, the seizures create such an issue that you had to be heavily sedated for those. Uh, but now that you're you're back and, and clear-headed and they're trying to reduce the dose of that medication, how have you dealt uh, with the emotional and physical traumas of what you've been through? Well, I look back, I, I had, if you were to ask me this, six, seven months ago, I mean, I was totally, I, I thought I was the healthiest person living. And then all of a sudden, I just, I, it just blew my mind that I could have all of this going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, uh, at this point, the, uh, I feel healthy. Uh, there's a few things, uh, 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 memory-wise, but I had problems before. <laughs> I know, I know. you make me Name, laugh talking yeah, about them. Uh, you know, <laughs> names and things like that, but I think that may be normal. Yeah, I, it, it is normal, and your brilliant mind is uh, fully intact, so I laughed about it because it's not yeah. real. You, you don't have any memory issues that are uh, uh, over and above what anybody else has. Um, do you remember um, having any physical pain as you, you dealt with the surgeries and the recovery from the surgeries or anything? No. I, uh, I really don't remember any uh, physical pain, nor do I remember See, that's getting... that's great. <laughs> nor do I remember getting any pain medication mm -hmm. or anything like that. Well, you had your um, brain surgery, and the next night you had pizza and they were wheeling you out and because you wanted to leave your room you were tired of it and so they took you downstairs and I have the thumbs up pictures of you where you're having your pizza <laughs> and who would think this guy just had brain <laughs> surgery he just collapsed from a seizure and just had uh, brain surgery